Advertisers Club with KG and GM owner, Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising. Okay, the KGM Jam Guild is now open and available for any players. I'm going to send out some invites. I don't know. i got to build it up first before anybody will probably want to join. I don't even have a store yet. And, of course, I'm trying to do it. I should have done this before Land came out. But, as usual, I put it off for too long. Uh, but once I get it built up, uh, well, you can get SPS and, and cards, Gladius cards, and all sorts of goodies and who knows what else they're going to add when you know, land starts rolling out in 2.0 uh, that can help with everything else. I think you can win, well, SPS, I don't know about DC. Uh, DC right now has become a very hard to get hot commodity just because everybody's uh, making moves to get it. So let's go do the land claim. Got some packs to open. I did get potions this time. I had some extra credits. So I went ahead. It's like a dollar to get enough potions to cover the 10 packs that I got. So basically, five cents for each pack. Or 10 cents for each pack. All right, let's go over here. Oh, and I also decided to go ahead and purchase another land, but it was uh, unsurveyed. And it's in the Ring of Fire section. And I don't have any, I put some characters on it, some cards, but I don't have enough power or DC to stake to it yet. But it, it was a rare when I surveyed it, so I made out okay. Rares are going for about 70 bucks right now, 60 to 70 bucks. But what that does is because it's a rare, it gives you a 10% bonus on whatever you do on that land. And it was a planes, so that's probably going to be... Right now, I'm looking at two farms, one uh, wood producing building, and one stone producing building. Let's get over to the farm. And almost 24 hour claim. I kind of did it in the afternoon yesterday, so this is a little bit less than it should be for 24 hours. I'm going to do it once a day. I got it maxed out on DC, as you see. Now, that, I don't lose that DC. It's just staked there. I can get that back anytime, immediately. You just, without it staked to the land, you can't produce anything. And by maxing it out, you're covered no matter what combination you got on there. And right now, I got plenty of grain for what's going on. This one property, oh, no totem part. Uh, if it does, it will show up here. I'm producing enough grain now that will probably cover all four properties. At least the way it's set up now. It could change if uh, I really get beefed up on all the properties. Okay, let's transfer to... go let's do let's do 35 and 35 and a thousand to the new one continue continue as you could tell I was starting to stack up on the other two properties they don't produce any grain at all so you gotta and right now, you can put grain on any property, but once 2.0 kicks in, it will only be on four of them. Plains, lakes, and the other two I can't remember off the top of my head. Same thing with wood. Same thing with stone. All right, now let's go. Doing another 3,500. This one we're going to send to the other property, which is really starting to add up. Looks 
So I, I did a lot of changes yesterday. I got the new property, which was a rare. Error. Right, let's see what happened. Yeah, it didn't go through for some reason. Right, let me try doing it this way. Continue. Now then, I'll get one of those errors. I don't know if the blockchain is clogged or kicks it back out or what. Okay, it went through. All right, so I'm doing good on those two. And now with the last thousand, I want to continue to my. Where is it? I might not need to put any on there. That might be why it's not. There's 150. Yeah, it's not even showing up. Anymore. I don't think I can even send it over there. Right now. Which is no big deal. Alright, let's go open the packs. Like I said, this time I got potions, so we're gonna see. So I got ten potions for each. This helps me get uh, more chance for uh, legendary, and this one's for gold. Let's see if I do much better than ten packs. We do them all at once. What do you mean I don't have enough potions for all? Oh, that's right. See, that's why I don't... Yeah, it's it's a potion per pack or per card. So that, that literally would run me $5 for a $10 purchase. That's, that's what I'm saying. I can get five more packs that way. I'll go ahead and use these up, though. When I get... Usually I get enough in the chest because I was higher up levels. So I never had to buy them. But now that I got to pay for them, I hate it. So we'll just go with what we got, and but I haven't paid for potions in a very long time. All right, let's see. You guaranteed? Okay, there's a legendary right there. So we got one legendary already, and what I'm really hoping for is the gold, of course, because that will go right on my land. Guaranteed one rare. There's an epic. So anything better than a rare is nice. And okay. That's a rare right there. It's a good card. Let's do it. Come on, gold. Not a gold, but a Sumner. Wow. That is a nice card right there. Fantastic. I'll take it. I've, I've never gotten that one either. So that's a good... got two of him. That's my rare. There's a gold. So one gold and one legendary already. I got three gold yesterday. Epic. Nice. Sumner. And I also did something to the battling. Uh, I switched from modern epic. Two of them. Nice. Two epics right there. Uh, I switched from the uh, modern to wild. And I went to Splitter Mate because I had an account there. And for a dollar a month, it will... Uh, bot your system for you so you don't have to play. And time-wise, that's exactly what I need. And it's also doing better than I am. I forgot that because I gutted my card and they removed some of the cards from anything that was Chaos Legion or less, uh, a lot of my good cards they, I couldn't even use. 
So that's why I decided to go wild. And that's when I, it dawned on me. I said, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go open that bot back up. I had it a long time ago, stopped using it, and now I'm back to using it. And let's go look at how it's done. I got it set up to play once an hour, or no, every 30 minutes. So I'll never accumulate any. Because you can get up to 50 a day. Or no, one an hour, max 50 total. So here we go. The ones unhighlighted I haven't looked at yet, even though they've battled. But here's how it started out. I lost this one, the second one, the third one. But the fourth one, it won, and the second one, it, it was a draw. So we're going to start at this one. And what we're doing is replaying, so it won't mess with my recording. Because it freezes up a lot, and it's just... See, I, I could never use this guy. I had him all the time, and now I can use him. Even though I'm not the one doing the actual gameplay. This one might be a victory. Because I don't see anything she's got. Especially with the healing capability. Yeah, they can't really do any damage to me that is substantial. Well, maybe not. Well, he's gone. And now, yeah, I got it. Okay, so my winning percentage has gone up from going to wild. Already. And going to the bot. But I think I would have been winning anyway more just because I could use my better cards that I couldn't use in modern. So now, the last three games, I'm 2-0 I'm and 0 and 1, which I haven't had any numbers like that since Lane came out. Right, let's try this battle. See if... This is me up here. Nice lineup. I use this guy all the time as a tank. These three I'd use all the time. Him occasionally. Not these two so much. It's also interesting to see why the bot picked what it did. Uh, like I said, go to um, Streammate. It's a dollar a month, and it will run the game for you the whole time. You can you can you know play it yourself if you want, if you got time, and then the bot kicks back in automatically. It just if it doesn't see anything to play, it won't play. But if if you get there before the bot does, and you got a game to play, or you want to pause it and let it build up, you have that control over. Man, I might be on a win streak here. I'm definitely on a win streak here. I'm going to win this one. Okay. So now I'm 3 0 and 1. This was the next one. And it's cool that they offer... Modern has no bots, or it's not supposed to. And that that's cool that they offer that. Uh, I never had any problem with it, because I was losing, especially in the early days, against human and bot. Uh, it just... Having better cards is the answer. I mean, it's, that's the design. You, know, you, you want to make it so people want to get higher level and get rewarded for doing so. So with the pack opening, I'm reversing my deck, building it back up to strength, and I will climb the charts here in the next couple months. This one don't look too good because of the healing factor. See, this one's healing this one every round. And now, yeah, I don't have any. See, now it's back up. So it just, it keeps it around long enough to just whittle you down to nothing. If I had a healer in here, I'd probably be able to maintain. So, all right. That one I lost, and deservedly so. 
Now, being in a guild gives you a bonus, too. I was in a guild at one point, and they kicked me out after like a, a six months or something. And without any rhyme or reason, they, they, I don't know what was going on, but I had, somebody contacted me, and I was playing all the time. I was doing everything, and, uh, but they said my winning percentage wasn't up to par. And this is me right here, and I'm probably going to win this one. And uh, and then all of a sudden, I just found myself evicted after all the money and stuff I put into that guild. Oh, maybe I want one. The healing's helping. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Uh, and so I tried to join, uh, join another guild, and I could never get in. And so I finally said, you know what, I'm going to make my own guild. And then I forgot about it, and I waited until the land came out. And now I'm paying for it because now I'm trying to do too much at once. It's really stretched thin. So I'm 4, 1, and 1 right now since I let the bot take over. This is me again on the top. I would have used this one, this one, this one. This guy can be pretty good. Uh, oh, I like him. Uh, Ra's pretty powerful. But see, every round he gets an extra hit point. So he's a good blocker. So while they're wasting the time on him, these guys can attack and do enough damage. And he's, he's in the back. I, I'm getting... Oh, the, uh, all my monsters have the blast ability. There you go. So they're getting blasted too. See, he's up the 10. They can't even get any hit points up. Meanwhile, these guys can just lay back their well on them. So that was a good setup. Nice. Five, one, and one. And, and you see here, uh, right there it says no guild for this guy, but I'm in a guild, so I got a bonus. And then Wild, I got plus 24, 393. And then this number will go up with every victory, and the higher you climb in bronze to bronze 2, etc. And the more SPS you'll get. See, right now, if I wanted to, I could battle without the bot. I probably should. Just to see how I do. Well, let's catch up. I got four more battles, and then we're all caught up. And then what I'll do is, if it's still there, I'll use it up. Give the bot a break. They've put out the third white paper now. We got all three white papers. Uh, probably a year, I'm thinking. So they get it implemented. So that, which is good. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in the mind frame. If it's sooner, great. And if it's longer, great. Either way, I got a strategy. I'm going to, it gives me time to beef up what I got. What I need to be careful is not start getting too many properties that I can't use. And I'm going to lose this one. And I did. Because then it's just sitting there, you know. And I don't think there's enough players. And it, we got hit so hard by this land drop, uh, our opening, that everybody's trying to deal with what they got. So I don't think much people will be buying any more land unless it's new people coming in. So until we get new people, land's going to be kind of in a build mode. But we will have a definitely advantage when it goes mainstream. When, when, and I do believe it will happen. Because what happens in a having, the crypto people get rich as shit. And then they got all this crypto. And then what they'll do is, because everything in crypto has gone up, they'll come in and they'll buy up the NFTs. They'll play the games. They'll invest. And then when they think it's going to die, they dump it. 
and that's what creates the bull run or the uh, bear market and it's a cycle I, I've done it long enough now this is going to be my third having I, I can bet on it. it's doing exactly what it's always done in the past now the scary part is if you're banking on that and it does something different you know so my advice is and this is not financial advice entertainment purposes only but just do enough to enjoy it do enough budget it to where and build slowly you know if, especially if you're on a tight budget if you got plenty of money it's not who cares but if you aren't just you know buy a little bit here and there build it up uh, be involved learn as much as you can about the game and promote it they got an affiliate program that's the it, it below if you can see it if, it, it, if I remember to put it up there is a link if you click on that I get an, a, a reward from them I get like I forget what it is, but something from them, not from you, from them. And so you can promote it. But if we promote it and get one person a month, then we can double the platform every month if everybody did that. Is it easy to get people to join? No, it's not easy, especially right now. It, it will get easier, I believe, as it, as it gets bigger. and We get a better reputation on you know, NFTs and the blockchain. But right now, I say this all the time, 1% of the population, less than 1% owns crypto and NFTs. But everybody in the population's heard about it. That's how much room for growth there is once it kicks in. And once it happens, it's going to happen quick. We got two more battles after this. I've lost the last two, I believe. See, this guy, this healing, if it's, I have none, they have one. So unless I got something that can get rid of them. Oh, the earthquake did. Okay, good. He's gone. Now that, that helped me tremendously. But the earthquake hurts everybody. It's, well, no, because I got one, two. Oh, all my guys. The bot put all my guys with. Which avoids the uh, quake. That little wing symbol. That's, you want that if you're, if your battles got quake in it or earthquake. I got this one, guys. Awesome. Oh, actually, I have a few more battles in time. Okay, let's go to this one. But it's running a lot smoother because the game's already been played. It's just replaying it. And my system, it must be my system. I got a cheap $75 Chromebook I'm using. If in the bull run, I actually able to do anything I'll probably upgrade and if I do real good I'll make me a studio uh oh I'll see his healing saving that's why I love this guy the longer he can stick around I got two healing guys See, he's getting stronger every round, too. That's what's good about that, that, like, half a face thing. I got this one. I've got this one. Because he's just going to keep healing me, and he's going to keep healing himself. <coughs> Excuse me. You notice everyone he's been, and I, I won. That's why I love that guy. Him and the, uh, what's the other card? The one eye. They both heal themselves while they're battling, and they got very high hit points. If you got a card that's got blood, uh, battle lust, and healing together, watch out. Now, this was a low mana battle. Let's see. Nope. 
doesn't look good because of that. Goodbye. Okay, I'm done. She got one extra card than me. I don't know why I did it. How many we got left? Okay, now we got three more. Oh, and that and it played it, it just played that battle for me. So we'll, that's a new one. That just happened. Any comments, uh, leave below. I'll get back to you on them. Any answers, any questions? I'm making the videos mostly to, to promote it and to try to get people to play it. And I was big in Yu-Gi-Oh! a long time ago. And... Uh, I never played much of Pokemon, but I imagine those games will eventually get a platform like this, or they do a partnership. Maybe, you know, maybe Splinterlands drops a pack of, you know, whatever. But yeah, you know, I, you know, I don't think so. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh usually like this. They're like Nintendo and Disney. They like to do their own thing. But what if what if Splinterlands went to Vivi and said, "Hey, we want to drop an exclusive set on your platform." that um, and then they'd somehow have to be able to you could get it over or match it to Splinterlands map you know maybe you got something that like a uh, oh what, what are they called they could drop something like the Munji what are they called? damn I can't remember right now but you, ha you could only use crypto to buy it uh and they sold out, and you could put it on your land, so they could drop something like that because that you can move around. And if and Vivi's able to move stuff around if the IP gives them permission to do so. Everybody's like, "Oh, they're not real NFTs over there because you can't put them in your wallet." You can put them in your wallet if Disney allowed it or any of the other IPs allowed it, and they might one day. You know, it's it's up, but like David Wu said, it's up to the IP to let you do that. But yeah, if Splinterlands drops something like that onto the VV platform, you know, cross things like that, like, like Marvel did with, or VV did with Marvel and Disney and Funko. You know that Iron Man. Uh, they can't. They could not sell the golden Funko Pops line at all. It's a, uh, totally been rejected by the Funko people. And when they partnered with Vivi and they attached a NFT to it, and they made it pretty limited. It's a total, I think, of three thousand items, and with the secret rare being only fifty. That I won that one. Um, they sold out like in a day. So that's, you know, everybody's like, oh, NFTs are trying to replace physicals. No, NFTs are their own thing and the physicals are their own thing. NFTs are going to complement physicals and help them sell more. Guarantee it. And, and it could go the other way around too. Uh, they Physicals can help the NFT world type of thing. All right, here's the one they just did. Let's see, who'd they line up? Yep, I got him. And oh, see, that's a double whammy. These guys might be in trouble, but they got a lot of fire. If they can take me out quick, they got it. But see, they got to shoot this guy first. And by then, a couple of these cards are going to be gone. Hopefully, this guy's gone. See, he's, he's tough, so... Oh, there's the healer right there. Yeah, I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. Because nobody's attacking this guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay. He's going to be gone, I think. Yeah, this guy. I told you. I wanted him out of there so bad. I, I lost. That, that double shot. He, if just one person would attack him, he would have been gone. Okay. So I'm still trying to get out of bronze one. I'm close. I'll be in bronze two soon. Uh, you know what? Let's go look at what that's called. Because I cannot, for the life of me, remember. Let's go to the market. No, that's not on the market. Let's go to land. That might tell me. I don't know why I can't remember it. I don't have one. I wish I'd gotten one. But you know what turned me off from that? Was that you had to use crypto to get it. The only reason I'm on Splinter Lanes is because I could do it with my fiat. All, every platform I'm involved with because they made it very user friendly. Every time I show up at a location and it was like crypto only, I, I would leave. So that's that's a big importance for the mainstream because I'm not a crypto guy. I love crypto. I'm into it, but I'm not a diehard, knowledgeable crypto guy. I, I have a hard time with the wallets. And um, I'm like in the middle, but I'm, I represent how you get somebody from the physical, from the uh, mainstream into the system. That is, you make it very easy for them to throw their money into it. Yeah, see right now you can buy a land uh, for 80 bucks and, and you don't know what you're going to get. How you, I don't know if you can get a castle because I don't think there's any left and maybe all the keeps are opened up too I don't know but you could get a magical or a occupied or and down here they started selling the totem parts totem pieces I think it takes 10 10 of these to make a total part Let's try the land. That will probably tell us. Do as we go here. Rooney. I think it's called a Rooney. I knew that'd come back to me. Anyway, Rooney's like a little figurine that's on the card. And it's uh, so. This is going to take me 117 days to build at the rate I got it going. I need 18,000 DC. I only got a thousand, so I gotta, I gotta beef that. I got cards on there, but not enough power. So right now, my efficiency is at 10 percent. And I could buy time crystals and do it instantly. But until I do the DEC, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Let me see if I got that right. I think it's a Rooney. And the Rooney you can put. Claim totems. What does that mean? Click that. Redeem your totem tokens to the able to. Oh, okay, that's this is where you put the pieces together, I guess. Redeem. Okay. Yeah, it's a Rooney. You put the Rooney on there, and it, I think it gives you. A, God, pretty good percentage bump and other things. But that's something VB could drop on their platform. And um, then they could take them off of there if you had one and put it on the game. Now, right here, you see I have 14 of these. They're all gold maxed out. This was sort of my land strategy before I kind of got sidetracked and forgot about it. But I was stacking up these cheap, 
I think I was paying like five bucks for a maxed out gold. It was real cheap. And they've gone up in value. And, um, but I blocked them for 30 days. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And so I'm, I got how many more days? I got 16 more days left. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these for DC and beef up my land, maybe get a gold card if I got enough. Because if I sell three, I got enough for a legendary gold right now. But um, let's go combine my cards. If you're new to this game, you don't know how this works. The first thing I'm going to do is gold. Okay. These are all my gold cards. And if I can combine them, I will. Most of them are, I can't do anything because they're under lock or on land. That's a maxed out one. And then this one's I'm building at the time and using it on my deck. But I think I got what? One gold card to combine? I know that that is can't combine because that's locked. If it's locked, you can't do anything with it. You can play with it. That's the only thing. Okay, where's the card that I got? I think I got... Was it this one? No. I'll find it here in a second. But these are NFTs, okay? And when you combine them, you burn them. And it produces a new card. So if you take two cards, you'll make a new one at a, at a higher level or more combination. And then it burns the other card. One in the box for each one. So that means it's just one card. When I and up here's the circulation. There's 17,538 of these in circulation. Don't forget, though, there's a lot still in Chaos Legion packs. Those are the packs I'm open. So I'm going to click all. I'm going to combine. Now, that's not enough to go up to another level. Well, maybe it is. This is gold, so I might only take two. Because I'm third. They start at third level in gold. And I'm, yeah, I'm fourth level. So it, just two gold cards will get you up to the next level. Let's go look at stats, and that will show that. So, see, there's nothing. It automatically starts at one, and you need a lot more cards. You need a total of 400 regular cards to make this. 38 just for gold. But see, every time you upgrade it, you get extra either a hit point, speed, or see, now he's faster at fourth level. That was his upgrade. Then after that, when you get the five cards, He'll get an extra hit point. Then after that, he'll get an extra ability, which is phase. Then the next one, he'll get... Does, he gets an extra hit point. Then level 8, he gets an extra speed. And then level 9, he gets speed, 4 speed, 4 healing, and, and 3 different uh, abilities. So that's how that works. And of course, it then makes the supply rarer, which makes your card more valuable and harder to get. Not right now because there's so many of them and there's not enough people playing. But once that changes, which I believe is going to happen in the next six to eight months because of the halving. And I'm freezing up, so Dan. Um, Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out my Pro Advertisers Club and have a nice day.